services assistant vice president infrastructure management in dbs bank converge technology operation system engineer in shell global solutions system operation lead specialist in ibm etc fourth is wide knowledge in the field of cloud security and social engineering will enlighten us in the field of privacy and data security on behalf of the management of jsc and all the participants here i extend a warm welcome to our resource person please feel welcome sir a heartfelt welcome to our hod dr sister or shanta mary joshita who is always demonstrating a high level of best academic culture and strength of our department welcome you sister i would like to accord a warm welcome to our dear participants faculty members who are supporting us always welcome professors i would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of the participants we appreciate you taking a time of your schedule to join us today we hope you will find a webinar we have lined up for you to be fruitful and engaging once again i welcome each one of you have a great learning now i request our honorable secretary and mother superior dr sister bj queensley jayanti to deliver the inaugural address so jasmine are you able to hear me yes sister you are audible okay thank you very good afternoon to you all with cheerful heart i welcome all the participants who are going to participate in this webinar i wholeheartedly welcome our resource person mr raja selvaraj uh, client chief architect ibm bangalore uh, singapore for accepting our invitation and having given consent to lead this webinar i wholeheartedly and sincerely thank dr sister sandha mary jasita hod of computer science department for taking initiative to conduct webinar in our college campus and supporting all the departments to organize the webinar and sharing their responsibilities thank you sister jashita i appreciate and congratulate mrs jasmine convener of this webinar and mrs fatima organizing secretary of this webinar for their fruitful efforts and enthusiasm let us all thank god for creating us as a human being and endowing us with sterling qualities god has given many good qualities but in this 21st century the status the safety and the security of the women has raised so many questions an unfortunate number of women are becoming victims of cyber crimes according to a recent study it shows that women are using internet to enrich their relationships than men we can use the internet but we should use the internet prudently and wisely and we should know how to use our internet and what are the precautionary measures that should be taken to avoid cyber crimes here i would like to highlight some of the safety points to protect us uh, from um, cyber crimes first one don't share your password with anybody else your password should be uh, secret and your password should be private and you should be complicated at any cost and at any moment you should not share your password with your friends sometimes your friends may not cause cause you harm intentionally but accidentally they may share your password with others and they will strand you in that case we have to face the consequences so better not to share your password with anyone else second one don't leave your web camera connected there are too many applications that are enabling your web camera automatically on and secretly recording all your movements without knowing your knowledge 
as a precaution always disable camera permission and cover and close the lens of your camera whenever the camera is not in view the next one don't share more than necessary so relationships have only have two shades of spectrum very good or very bad even the best people can swing from one end of the spectrum to another end so we cannot predict the temperament and the nature of the person so we should be very careful in sharing our personal information personal messages photos or anything that has the potential to come back and embarrass you so we, we should be very careful in sharing our information with others the next one don't meet online acquaintances alone so we always let your friends and family members about where you are going and whom you are going to meet so it is better to meet the online acquaintances in the crowded market or a uh, uh, mall next one reveal only as much as needed so nowadays too many sinister characters are browsing the social media sites try to initiate relationship with the unsuspecting women so here Uh, be careful about posting all information regarding your whereabouts and your lifestyles talk and scan easily reach you with a simple photo and the status of the photo and the photograph so in that case always disable geo tagging in your camera when it is secured you can on the geo tagging next one update all operating system on your devices uh, sorry the, uh, devices so they can be a nuisance but they are very important to save your life at any cost at any moment you should always update your operating system in your devices and the next one secure your devices with anti virus system so having a mobile system mobile phone and the tablet but without having the proper security system is like sitting in your home with door unclosed so the both android and mac or at uh, mac devices are at risk and the malicious software can invade our devices and steal all the data that we have, that we have stored in our devices because of that we may face a serious problem the next one always read a yeah, fine uh, print properly so whenever the, we should know and understand the private policy and the terms and conditions of service of any service you want some websites may own a uh, resell arrange or um, sell your information your data they want so in that case that will create a very big problem even the law may not be able to protect you since you agree to their terms and conditions and the private policy of their websites in that case you should be very careful while entering into the agreement with any services the next one nothing is free base as we think so the number day so many free games and the softwares and dealings are coming as free base that is not at all uh, free base so they are riddled with malicious programs malicious softwares and they will steal all our data and they will spoil our system and all the things so we should not accept free base access and next one block the person with whom you don't want to have any interaction in that case your instinct may guide you so instinct may tell you that whether you can have relation with that particular person or not always follow the instinct that may be the inspiration that may be the guidance of the holy spirit so if you don't want to have interaction with the person if you don't want to relate with that person you better block the person so these are the best ways to avoid cyber crimes i am sure our resource person will guide you in the right path and help you to avoid many more cyber crimes may god bless you enrich you and empower you wish you all the best thank you Thank you, sister, for your inspirational inaugural address. You inspire the women fraternity in the careful usages of mobile phones and social sites. Thank you, sister. 
I request our Honorable Principal, Dr. Sister S. J. Surani, to deliver the keynote address. Am I audible? Yes, Sister. Good afternoon. Women are the real architects of the society. So voice is breaking. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Sister? Sister, your voice is not audible. Respect our resources. Sister, your voice is breaking, sister. Talk. You unmute and uh, operate it perfectly. Okay, sister. Is it audible now? Ah, yes, sister. Yes, sister. Yeah. Are the real architects of the society. A respected resource person of the webinar, Mr. Raja Selvaraj, client chief architect, IBM Singapore. Mrs. P. Jasmine, convener of this webinar. Mrs. P. Fatima Josephine Prasanna, organizing secretary of this webinar. Other faculty members of the Department of Computer Science, HOD, Sister Josita, their participants of this webinar. A very pleasant evening to every one of you. Empowerment is the process that creates power in individuals over their whole life, society, and in their communities. Women's empowerment is all about equipping and allowing women to make life-determining decisions through the different problems in society. Cipher phase is a concept describing a widespread interconnected digital technology. The term entered the popular culture from science fiction and the arts, but it is uh, now used by technology strategists, security professionals, government, military, and industry leaders, and entrepreneurs to describe the domain of the global technology environment. Cyber theft is the fast growing crime in the world. More than 90% of CACs today begin with an email attack. And as many as 23% of phishing emails are opened by the users. Apart from physical and psychological issues, technology creates many social problems, especially to the women folk. Since more and more people can easily access the internet and social media, Cyber violence against women and girls is an increasing concern. Women are more likely than men to be victims. I think I am not audible. Is it so? Uh, it, now it is audible, sister. You are, oh, you are uh, continuously disturbing. Don't touch that. Developing a cyber awareness strategy can go a long way towards making the user a friendly defender in stopping these attacks. Dear participant, let us listen to the lecture of the resource person 
and be aware of the threats through cyber especially to women and culture i congratulate the conveners for the selecting relevant and a recent topic for the webinars a cyber awareness for women and for the strenuous efforts in planning and conducting this webinar in a successful manner i want to say about our college jayara chanapakyam college for women periculum is a christian minority institution run by the sisters of saint anne of trichropoli affiliated to mother teresa young women of this area our college has been accredited to a grade in cycle 3 and waiting for the nac peer team visit for cycle 4 after lockdown dear participant listen carefully thank you very much may god bless you stay home and stay safe stay home and stay safe thank you very much most welcome sir thank you sister for your valuable and motivating encouraging word in women empowerment and your continued support thank you sister now it's the time for technical session mr raja now the floor is open to you all right uh, thanks thanks ma'am uh, good evening good afternoon good afternoon to everyone so time difference so i'm i'm telling good afternoon good evening so thanks uh, uh, sister for valuable inaugural address and uh, uh, you know you know the address and uh, i'm i really thankful to uh, give a uh, lecture uh, for this uh, you know valuable lecture for students lecturers and uh, especially for women uh, uh, society so um as sister mentioned about it so uh, yeah women are the you know architects for the you know the entire society i i Uh, you know, hundred percentage. You know, truly agree about it. So, um, uh, so I, uh, you know, before uh, getting into the topic, so, um, uh, so especially for the security, uh, when I when I learned it, when I started, uh, uh, um, you know, using in corporate world, I'm really scared about uh, uh, using smartphones. So, and uh, really, uh, even uh, in in developed countries. they started giving awareness for uh, you know all the peoples like uh, uh, from when we start from corporate to you know ordinary people but uh, especially for india uh, i just wanted to contribute for uh, you know uh, like women's and uh, you know especially for students community uh, uh, so to create awareness in the internet world because without uh, knowing uh, uh, you know they they are they started using Uh, internet uh, uh, without knowing the impact right so um, rather than this workshop rather than uh, uh, you know um, explaining the slides so couple of examples we are going to uh, uh, see that how the uh, hacker uh, is uh, you know approaching the target uh, uh, and uh, you know how we can protect ourselves uh, from the this cyber security world right uh, so uh, sister can you make me as a presenter i couldn't share uh, the ppt yes sir now it's okay sir yeah one second yeah i'm able to share it are able to see my screen the information in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, anyone can uh, uh, read it right anyone can um, uh, you know uh, so able to identify what uh, information you are uh, discussing about it so when you are in in military purpose they uh, they started that you know they always you know change the plain text uh, into you know different format 
and they will exchange the information that is called as a, you know confidentiality uh, they 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 started using it right so another one is when you are uh, uh, you know integrity when you are passing the information from one person to another person like uh, you know how the information is reliable either you know anyone hijack the information and uh, read about it like uh, uh, when when the king uh, rule one king is uh, uh, you know sending information to another king in uh, you know meanwhile uh, if any of those guys enemy uh, intercept the messages so that uh, you know uh, that how uh, this uh, you know target king will identify it is unknown right but even uh, in in technology world we are able to identify so whether it is a valid information so in the target side we should able to uh, uh, you know validate it actually like uh, in the you know whether the message is valid so that is the concept uh, we call it as uh, uh, you know integrity uh, i think yeah uh, someone is uh, okay so and another one is whether the proper the, the information is uh, uh, you know completely uh, uh, reaching uh, without uh, damaging it right so that that's uh, uh, you know concept called uh, availability this is the information uh, uh, you know pill, information security pillars so this this is called as a information security what is cyber security right so this is in the in the company uh, within a department or uh, you know within our, uh, ourselves we this you know we we are interacting close together it is called as a within a country the same information security right so when if it is moved uh, uh, from the uh, you know one place to another place it is over the internet that is called as a cyber security right so in the internet if you are spreading the information so that is uh, anyone can take the information right so that is called as a information and the information versus cyber security right so it is yeah, cyber security is subset of information security and some people say that information security is subset of cyber security right according to me information security is a small space cyber security it's open the wide Oh, so that means that information security is subset of cyber security, right? Still, researchers so they always you know debate, right? And, uh, you know what is the information security and cyber security? Which one is subset, right? So this is the uh, um, uh, you know always you know debatable topic, right? So that that's what you know. Just before touching, I wanted to. Uh, 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 you know, explain what is information security versus cyber security, okay? And moreover, most of you you searched in Google, you are using Google, and uh, you don't know what is the web type, okay? The, these are the you know web types. So whatever uh, you know, if we are searching in Google, like uh, uh, you know, whether it is a material or address and everything, it is called as a indexed web okay and uh, how many of you know like uh, uh, you know your web is like uh, you know how many percentages uh, you are using in index web in out of 100 percentage we are using only the google is using only four percentage of the content is in the surface web right so remaining so if you see that there is another layer called deep web i think uh, sister can you uh, uh, not to do the cursor so i'm uh, uh, the slide is uh, slide is using the pen actually. So okay, sir. So so, so deep uh, uh, deep deep web. The next uh, uh, you know level of internet is deep web, right? All deep web means all the government agency uh, uses this uh, this layer, right? Surface uh, deep web like uh, medical informations are uh, you know uh, like a political government information all the uh, you know uh, 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 information it is handled in the deep web right so even like uh, you know surface web when you are transferring the images uh, uh, from you know one uh, you know like uh, from the google or uh, youtube anything it will be stored in the uh, uh, it will be stored in the 
you know, uh, server, right? In the browser, you will have the option called incognito mode. That means that, you know, everyone will say that incognito mode, you cannot, you can hide your information, right? What you are searching, it will not record in the history, right? That, uh, you know, actually it doesn't, right? So, uh, so incognito mode, uh, uh, so it also will record your identity information, whom, they, which location, what is IP address, what you are searching and everything, right? And another one is the, the mine of internet, mine of information. Everyone is talking about a dark web, okay? No one, it is hiding the anonymity, right? So like identity, your identity, and uh, no one, I think most of you uh, watched a movie called Irumbutre. So that, uh, you know, they are using a concept called how our information flooded in the dark web. I think recently uh, a lot of, you know, hackers stole the other card information like uh, your, uh, you know, customer information. So uh, in the dark web, so dark web, they sell the information, all the illegal activities, right? It happened in the dark web, okay? Everything like, uh, you know, the, the biggest threat in the world, you know, as, uh, uh, you know, sister mentioned that cyber crime, right? So everyone has, uh, you know, started, uh, uh, you know, talking about crime as a service, okay? So that is the biggest threat for all the companies and, uh, you know, uh, society. Right, crime as a service. So um, you can hire a, uh, you know, hacker. You can hire a killer or anything. I think in 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 India also, you know, popular. So, but uh, in internet, they are, uh, uh, you know, they are calling it as a crime as a service. It is a threat nowadays. Okay, these things. If you, uh, you know, uh, you go and search in Google, what is a surface web and deep web and dark web? Okay. So whatever the information and uh, transaction is happening in the deep web and dark web, nobody knows what's happening, okay? It is kind of peer-to-peer -peer network. So, uh, uh, so we cannot identify what is happening. So even dark web, you can hide your identity. You cannot just enter into a dark web as a normal person, right? So uh, all the hackings and everything will happen in the dark web. Your information, you really don't know what your information is, uh, you know, uh, your information flooded in the internet, right? So uh, maybe, you know, uh, even if you, uh, um, if you, if you see that, like uh, in the Facebook, uh, normal Facebook, uh, in, uh, in US, there are a lot of, uh, you know, website, uh, we do have it. This is my, you know, Facebook account. Uh, so I can search uh, anybody, uh, in the in the Facebook, so without uh, knowing, uh, you know, the target person uh, knowing who is searching their informations and everything. Okay, it is your responsibility to protect your information in the Facebook. Okay. So moving to the next uh, uh, slide. So um, that's what, like uh, as I said, the first phase of hacker, right? How uh, uh, you know, it they can in you know come uh, and uh, you know seek your information. First, they identify the target. Okay, who will be the person, right? If they uh, you know there are multiple ways they uh, you know the information gathering will happen, right? One is technology space, and another one is non-technology. It's a human uh, related, right? So and before that, why hacker exist in the uh, you know first place, right? So there are, you know, multiple purpose. One is the hacker is for money and another one is for popularity and uh, third one is sexual abuse, right? That's why, you know, more uh, most happening in the, you know, India, right? How the target is defined by the hacker. So especially for ladies, so maybe, you know, workers, students or, uh, you know, any other sectors, especially for women, they are, you know, the hackers, the intelligently how they are using the technology to exploit, you know, somebody and, uh, you know, our, uh, you know, corporate information, right? They will, you don't know whether the person is approaching, you know, genuinely, uh, you know, coming and approaching you, right? So for example, one thieves is uh, trying to loot the money in one of the house so that thieves 
will you know first if, if he will gather the he or she will gather the information about the target either uh, you know they can come as a you know courier boy and uh, either they can come as a you know they can uh, in front of t you know a, uh, you know opposite to house in the t stall they will start acquiring the information but the target doesn't know so they are uh, you know gathering information about uh, uh, the you know target right that is the steps they call it as a footprint steps right collect the information about the target person or in the corporate world uh, you know network they use the technology there are multiple tools uh, identify the target in you know how do we find it so for example in typical example you know like most of the people right if uh, uh, you know if i'm uh, um, finding like uh, you know alliance for you know one of my sister they uh, you know always in india what is uh, you know a uh, easiest method whether the person is existing and the first thing we will go and check in the facebook right the target person doesn't know they are searching about you know that person right and another one is another uh, professional network they call it as a linkedin right linkedin they uh, you know it's a professional network uh, 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 where i am working uh, uh, and what is my job responsibility and everything you can go and see that actually so this is uh, you know my sample uh, you know my my profile actually so if you see that if i click my profile i'm having i entered all the information right where i am uh, i'm working where i uh, you know i got educated uh, you know what are the uh, you know certification i'm holding so you know somebody can recommend myself for the next uh, job right so and uh, you know what is currently i'm doing whom i am following all the information the linkedin uh, you know you, you can you can use it so this is for you know you know good purpose uh, uh, you know like uh, uh, this is to search job right all the job posting all the company uses a linkedin network to give you the job right and the skills uh, database right but hackers they use for uh, you know different purposes to search the information like even facebook they can start searching about myself right so uh, later on we will see that how to protect ourselves what are the settings we can uh, we can do it in the facebook all right so the the foot they, they call it as a information gathering they call it as a footprinting steps right one is active footprinting and another one is passive footprint right passive information gathering right so one one person this is a target like uh, for example uh, um give me a minute so so, so the target is uh, uh, you know uh, target is important uh, uh, you know when the, the hacker world uh, is the presentation is able to see sister okay yeah so so that's uh, so so information gathering uh, it is uh, uh, it is important steps for the hacker right so in corporate world we try to find out the information uh, about the company right so uh, you know what is the company website name uh, uh, what will be the uh, you know uh, address the url address website uh, url address Uh, so similar kind of things in real time scenarios so person will start following right annoying you don't know the person is following uh, you right so uh, how uh, like as i mentioned that they uh, come as a different person right when you are in the house it they will come as a courier boy right in in real uh, you know typical the you know movie they call it as a sketch right sketch when the person try to murder they will put uh, you know where they are going what is their activities what is their weakness point 
and uh, how the information is shared all the details they gather the information right the once they gather the information then they will start attacking the you know person so similar things so they will one uh, the uh, you know leg, so the legitimate uh, uh, you know message they will send that different form of uh, you know message they send it to you first they will try to establish a communication right in women's perspective right unknown person uh, you know you you don't know their intention right you always need to be vigilant when any unknown person suspicious person approaching you right information always you know wealth so they will try to acquire the information right how long you can tolerate they will always you know continuously trying to you know approach you to get the different different information right you don't know what is their intention okay so and the privacy should be uh, you know it is it is must for everyone right later on how we are going to protect ourselves in the you know social networking we are going to see that okay this is the information gathering is a essential technique for the hacker so how all the hacker they use the information uh, you know gathering right first I, as i mentioned that in the facebook uh, you know linkedin right it's a next level of information first i will go and search in the google right my name is raja selvaraj right so i did not select anything just to simply select you know simply search raja selvaraj my name is you know coming in the first uh, you know like uh, it itself first uh, link itself google is giving the information in the first face itself i don't need to log in you know to see my information okay i don't know who is searching my information who is taking my information which you know it is not visible to me okay and another one is google maps okay everyone can track as sister mentioned that where you are going right in mobile devices so later on uh, i will explain so mobile device you may having all the smartphones i think most of the person 90 percentage of the you know uh, uh, person you are using smartphones smartphone means if you are turning off your you know location accuracy like wi-fi uh, and uh, bluetooth so that doesn't mean that it is stopping your wi-fi or bluetooth okay it's uh, unknowingly all the you know phone manufacturers it's a uh, hidden it's uh, the service is uh, running hidden right automatically it will be running in the background okay you never know uh, you know the service is running uh, in the background okay how i uh, in, uh, you know how, how i discover this information right so i am using iphone right i'm you uh, so when i uh, you know travel from singapore to my native my native is uh, you know small you know rural village that doesn't have you know any of the you know internet connected even mobile network okay so i took a photo okay i switched off you know wi-fi bluetooth and everything i took a photo but my, the photo uh, place is actually you know captured how it has been captured so when i started uh, you know asking myself you know why and uh, you know how then you know i came to know that automatically if you you are logically turning off the wi-fi or uh, bluetooth but it's uh, running on the background okay that's why you know all the you know smartphone manufacturer is cheating you right where you are going so unknowingly they will try to you know track you right and another thing is another typical examples like daily 8 am i i go to the school to drop my kid right even i don't use uh, you know map uh, in the car and the phone right automatically the uh, uh, you know the uh, google speech or google translator will tell me that you know how much time to uh, you know reach the school you know how they they know that actually so it's a frequently traveled destination it's captured by the phone or google uh, everything so that you know automatically it will predict and tell you you know which route i need to take it and uh, you know uh, where, you know how you know where i am going it okay one way is good and another way is you know unknowingly someone is you know 
uh, vigilantly tracking it okay and uh, uh, you know maps uh, you know you can uh, you can see that where you are and uh, you know facebook as i mentioned that and twitter uh, you know you are uh, seeing that sending messages instagram and uh, uh, you know youtube right in united states and all there is a you know famous website is called as a spokio right in spokio so i can uh, you know search someone uh, phone number like a true caller i can uh, if i give the uh, number i think most of the uh, guys you have uh, watched uh, you know movie called indiran from rajini movie that the robot will uh, you know read the telephone directory book so similar kind of things when you enter in the spokio all the you know like if i'm searching the person living in denver automatically everything you know uh, will display okay so that's why information is wealth okay information you never know your information is shared by you know in the web how it is used by someone right and another keep in mind that once you enter the your information in the internet you never uh, know that it cannot be deleted okay that's a keep in mind uh, either search search information or any other information or facebook information still some of the softwares is there you can discover what will be the content in the website you know 3 months before okay that can be cloned and it can be taken for the research okay and always keep in mind that uh, so all the information you are uh, you know putting in into the internet it cannot be removed okay and making sure that keep your information safe okay okay and when the hackers how you know he cannot monitor once information is gathered he cannot monitor always he sit on the pc and watching you right even once uh, search the you know uh, information valid information about you he can set the alerts okay this is a url right so they can set the alerts in the you know specific uh, 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 you know site so what they can do is if you are posting any information if you are moving from one place to another place so uh, like you can uh, you know you can set alert right if anything so like this are the side so uh, they can they can set the alerts even if you are logging into facebook uh, if you log in into like a google or anything so news alerts are uh, you know particular person alerts they can set okay what will be the use because you will be identify as a you know target for the hackers right so they will not you know uh, uh, you know real time uh, example so like uh, you know intelligence uh, uh, agencies they start watching you and follow you right so now technology is using for you know different purpose one is uh, you know uh, you know good end another one is you know bad end so one uh, one thieves can keep pistol okay any time he can trigger a gun but uh, police always need to get the permission okay that is a difference between keeping the you know using the technology in the good end and the bad end okay so this is a you know like a how the uh, you know target uh, you know target is uh, you know watched by the in the technology in the security space but in in how you are using you know in the company side we started using like uh, you know uh, for the testing purpose right but uh, you know the people misuses this technology okay okay the another another uh, uh, you know uh, important concept after the information gathering so uh, you know the 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 um, important techniques the multiple techniques are there the important techniques in the cyber security especially for the you know uh, uh, for Uh, uh you know protect the information social engineering is the art of you know convincing people as i mentioned that you know people will start once you identify that uh, identified as a target they will start uh, you know trying to establish a communication with you right or uh, you know real time example in the you know facebook so unknowingly they will send that you never know that who will be the person okay never ever accept the uh you know unknown person friend request okay this is my personal uh, uh you know uh, uh, recommendations and uh, um, 
you know never ever accept the friend request from unknown person even uh, the person first uh, you know now the tactics right so uh, recently i got a you know a connection request in the linkedin okay so i thought like uh, for example connection in the connection request i saw that mutual friends is uh, you know more than 60 people i thought it's a known person right so some of it's uh, you know uh, you know connected when i connected they started spend, sending the marketing messages right the marketing messages mean that it's a, it may be you know genuine or uh, you know uh, right uh, or you know like a hacking perspective right always you know even uh, i know now the tactic is the tactic is first they will try to acquaint in your friends then try to you know uh, create the connection request for you in the facebook and linkedin okay never ever accept it okay immediately i removed the connection right so that's called as a social engineering right art of you know convincing people that they will try to establish a, uh, you know uh, you know communication to you right so the common targets right in the com- company how they try to attack it social engineering right help us uh, people help us uh, what who will be the help us right uh, in the mobile banking or banking perspective you call the banking people hey, uh, can you re- reset my password and uh, you know can you reset my P- atm pin that person will be targeted maybe you know again i am coming into the you know example called movie called irumbutrai that uh, you know uh, you know one uh, use cases they took it the loan rejected application that data is used for the hacking perspective they will you know uh, you know they will create uh, uh, you know um, you know fake application to get the loan from bank right so similar kind of things they try to use it it is kind of uh, uh, you know the information uh, theft okay and social engineering so you never know that like uh, you know they are trying to uh, uh, approach you to get the information from you okay there are multiple techniques uh, other active social engineering and technology wise and man uh, uh, you know human based right human based as i mentioned that human based social engineering technique so it is it is a, it's kind of authorized person if the person like a thief is a plan to intend to you know like a steal your house or any you know steal money from you they will come as a authorized person you never know that they will come up with the you know with the court suit with the you know proper id card you assume that you know that point in time you never know that you know they are the hack you know they are the you know cyber crime personal or any any other things right so similar kind of things so they uh, uh, they do that right and the authorized person or maybe you know uh, they will try to passively you know get the information about you like other as i mentioned in the tea shop Uh, just opposite of your house or any other colleges they will try to get the information about you right like uh, even uh, in the beyond like uh, maybe in village or uh, you know uh, in the town they try to come as a repairman or ac repair or a grinder repair a refrigerator repair so similar kind of uh, you know the person uh, they will come uh, come to your house they will try to you know uh, get the information about the house or just you know they will give you some information similar kind of things in the technology space they do that spend uh, you know send the same kind of email like uh, for example just a similar uh, you know uh, it's kind of genuine email you never know that it's a, it's a fake email like a lottery right you want this lottery so and so from uk or uh, you know um, like when you calculate the amount it's kind of crores so you know lot of people is uh, cheated by this kind of you know uh, 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 genuine it's kind of genuine but it's a, it's a completely fake right that's that's uh, you know called as a, you know social engineering and uh, human based uh, uh, social engineering it is kind of you know uh, it's uh, they will come as an authorized person right so like uh, um, you know how uh, uh, you know why social engineering attacks uh, it is more popular Uh, that's so you know it's always it's a genuine right and uh, moreover it's uh, it's uh, insufficient trainings right so 
in india and it's a you know very less awareness right in the uh, in the mobile i think most of you you are using smartphones and android phones right you never knows that android phone is most uh, you know vulnerable right and uh, 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 you know when you are storing because uh, how many of you you when you install any softwares when you install android how many of you read the whole agreement right simply you click uh, you know you you click just uh, you know I agree or accept and uh, you know without you know uh, I, i'm sure 99 percentage you never read that document okay when the real case is occurred so then you know they will say that already you know we def- already we have you know rules defined so you did not follow right and, uh, uh, and that's called as a, you know and another thing is uh, uh, so it is open to the world like unregulated and the access information i think how many of you configured email with the two factor authentication right two factor authentication first level password you need to give that okay once identified it is a you whether it has to uh, send uh, uh, you know otp to your mobile or uh, uh, you know any other device like a token multiple token is generated right so that uh, you know that information uh, uh, you know that policy uh, you need to keep in mind that when you are installing or using email your information should not be you know uh, taken by someone else okay you should not uh, use only password mechanism you need to have double layer security right and uh, security policy right as say uh, you know sister also mentioned that always you should not share your password with anyone right lack of security policies okay and you need to have uh, you know what is a minimal uh, information minimal access you can have it in internet okay you need to have put your barrier you know you need to have always protect yourself and uh, put some barrier around while accessing the internet right while why social engineering another perspective while social engineering is active uh, uh, and effective right so social it's uh, mm, you know other than the technology so and uh, as i mentioned that it is uh, you know the person is coming and approaching you as a genuine okay and uh, so you never know the person is uh, genuine they are coming uh, you know they are establishing a communication with you that you know it is a genuine you never know that what will be the you know intent their intention right and there is no method uh, you know that can be applied like uh, to ensure uh, the the complete security right in physical right if someone is trying to attack uh, you know trying to attack you you can protect yourself by learning karate and other uh, defending techniques right in technology space how you know you, you don't know that the the person the hacker or any other person they are coming uh, you know you never know that they are trying to attack you right then it will be very difficult to you know identify you right and there is no specific mechanism to identify them it is a, it is a psychology perspective you need to identify yourself okay that will come as experience and always you anything you know you if you are instructed says that you share with your parents you share with your you know teachers or you share with your friends right so that will be the you know another typical and you know important examples right you never know what's happening around you right because the smartphone is collecting the information where you are going and everything right so because most of the cases it can be used a positive way but uh, you know uh, the the people as i mentioned the typical example uh, thieves also having gun pistol and police also having pistol okay so if uh, if thieves wanted to activate the gun so he doesn't need permission from anyone right he can straight away uh, you know pull the lever and uh, you know execute it right but police need a permission right so that's a uh, you know typical example you can follow that okay and uh, you know so when the social engineering you will lose the you know privacy 
right privacy is the major concern right so and another thing is i will show you like uh, um you know how uh, um, uh, you know the uh, the privacy it is handled right so i am having facebook profile right from here uh, i need to use the uh, you know privacy right i can i can edit it so uh, um, for example uh, I, i'm searching my uh, you know my brother profile okay i'm trying to uh, uh, you know search you know friends okay so here i cannot uh, you know only i can see that mutual friends right i cannot see you know whole friend list right so from here who can i can uh, you know follow or anything i cannot uh, uh, you know see it so this this kind of you know privacy you need to you know search uh, you know set it here and only your your friends should able to see that or uh, you know whoever in a friend list they should know your details okay you should not share your information you know publicly otherwise you know anyone can see your information and the phone numbers from here okay so from so that is a, you know a, another a, a important thing see uh, uh, you know uh, now i am living in singapore i don't know you know when i gave the information i leave it uh, you know just like that right so give me a minute i'm so it is it is showing us uh, uh, you know public uh, 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 you know you can it should uh, everything you need to you know uh, make it as a private you should not be you know keep it as a public okay so you need to have that when you are editing details see so all the works uh, so where you are working and education because if you turn off automatically you know it is displaying the information means that won't show uh, into intro but still the public right it will not uh, when when anyone search the information it will not you know publicly you will not be available right i always you know keep the maximum security in this uh, uh, you know in the facebook profile because this is a first place anyone try to find out your information okay okay and uh, and moreover it's a, it's a social engineering because when when any person try to establish a dialogue like uh, for example like uh, you know normally say hi like uh, when you are ignoring first time you know like a fourth and fifth time you know normally you have tendency to trust right like uh, that's a, that's a, because you I, i keep repeating myself you never know their you know target intention right so and and then second thing is behavioral vulnerable attacks right and uh, most of the women may, is it is uh, they are facing and uh, you know impacting uh, uh, themselves in the behavioral base right so uh, you know trying to uh, uh, take the image or uh, you know like uh, all the uh, uh, you know important things like uh, you know hey forgot to uh, mention about it so if someone is trying to like uh, uh, you know after reading the agreement if someone is sending me message right you never know that okay Uh, whether they, the person is sending image or video or anything okay that how you know that the person is sending the image okay simply you are clicking and seeing the image or video okay you never know that the person is injected you know uh, you know integrating some you know malicious code in the in the video or you know images okay so if the you know when you click the image automatically unknowingly it will install it in your phone okay so it will automatically it will send the information to the target person okay i mention about bluetooth and uh, you know wifi okay you never know that okay like a camera right they can person they can turn on the front camera and back camera you never know that the person once 
the person has taken control of your phone, you never know that they are capturing your phone. Okay, you need to be very, very, very careful when you are, uh, you know, uh, seeing videos and, uh, you know, uh, like uh, images. Okay, so this, this, uh, everything, you know, it is, uh, 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 it is, uh, you know, typically uh, tested, right? So the damage, uh, uh, even it may be, you know, for uh, behavioral vulnerable, uh, you know, vulnerable to attacks. And another one is somebody will damage the good, good names, right? And, uh, you know, in the corporate world, they may encounter lawsuits and, uh, uh, you know, because they, they have to spoil their reputations, right? And, uh, and moreover, like, uh, for example, uh, in the police, uh, they will ask, uh, you know, they will ask them to ask help. And another thing is because of uh, sentimental uh, uh, things, like uh, they will threaten, you know, if you don't do that, they will spoil your family, uh, similar kind of things to do the, you know, uh, um, do the activities, correct? So that's kind of, uh, you know, impact of uh, social engineering attack. So, so far we have discussed uh, social engineering, human-based, uh, you know, social engineering, they will come as an authorized person and technologists, they can send an email, right? So you no need to have, uh, uh, you know, genuine email server to send, uh, you know, uh, uh, email, okay? There are multiple fake mail servers is there, okay? Simply they can change the name and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, they will send a fake email address, okay? They, if they found your valid email address, they will send, uh, you know, uh, like uh, just uh, this is a you know like uh, your uh, uh, email they will send the high message they will send the you know you win the lottery or uh, different kind of uh, uh, you know messages they can they can construct and send it to you because already they gather gather the information about you they know their your weakness okay you never know that how they will send that whether it can because email i'm telling it's a it's a simple example there are multiple ways they can do that. Okay, so um, we again, I'm, I'm detail. I'm, I'm uh, discussing about mobile-based social engineering attack, right? So uh, uh, you know, as I mentioned, that video and uh, 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 video and uh, uh, like audio or any other images, they can try to uh, uh, like uh, try to take uh, uh, control of your uh, mobile phones. Right, mobile phones and tab and uh, you know laptop. It is a you know just a, you know it is a, it is a more thread actually for for uh, you know in the in the uh, smartphone world. We will see the it's going to be you know like uh, you know we can we can do that like um, uh, you know uh, how we can escape it right. So another typical example in the mobile uh, uh, based social engineering attack that. So um, uh, email and, uh, you know, when you are going into the, uh, you know, mobile uh, app store, right? So always, they always come up with the ad, right? Advertisement. When you click the advertisement, you never know that. So like, uh, you know, it is going to the uh, a valid site. Okay. And uh, moreover, another thing is like uh, gaming, right? Malicious gaming, right? How they can... So, you know, you will, you never know that you are installed the game, uh, you downloaded from the app store, you are installing, but it will steal your credential from your phone, sending to the third party websites. Okay, so how, you know, normal developer, like, uh, you know, uh, they download the from app store, they will, uh, you know, they will download it, all the source code, they will develop a redevelop and inject your, uh, you know, all the code, they will put it in the app store, right? That is another example they can, you when you download it, automatically it will send your information. Information in the sense, what is it? In terms of video or photos or all your personal information. Like now, uh, everything Google Pay, everything is coming as a, you know, uh, in the mobile, right? All the payment information, it can be, you know, steal. Okay. Okay. And uh, moreover, like another one is SMS, right? So uh, in, you know, we used to get a call, right? So, uh, you know, are you, 
uh, and they will try to uh, you know call from some other you know uh, africa number or uh, south africa number uh, when, because they will give you the miss missed call right never ever accept you know any unknown numbers okay don't believe the true caller as well if you if any number it is not in the you know like uh, in the phone phone book or contact book don't uh, you know accept the call okay they will send the you know they will try to call and uh, you know start grabbing your informations okay when you are on call and another thing is like they will send the blank sms to steal your uh, you know informations okay this will be the you know challenges for you know current uh, uh, you know cyber security world okay in the, it uh, because in corporate they can identify how many persons is uh, you know coming into the digital banking applications because they have biggest uh, you know security operation center whether it is a proper request or uh, you know bad request or any other you know attacker is coming trying to you know trying to hijack the digital bank uh, application they will know that actually but in single person you should be very careful you should be very vigilant actually so when you are uh, trying to you know respond the phone call on from the unknown number okay never ever do that and uh, you know when you don't know the sms just simply delete okay all right so so the sms uh, uh, sms is uh, uh, you know another uh, um, you know important uh, uh, one right so like uh, how the uh, you know physical uh, physically you know even if you don't have the you know smartphone like uh, normally everyone will have the uh, um, like the man in the middle attack they call it as a, when you click the sms some somebody will intercept the uh, you know messages and another one is wireless wireless network right when you try to connect into the public network like for example when you are entering to the mall so now every uh, you know shopping mall they do have it like uh, you know public open wifi right when you are public open wifi easily you know uh, without uh, uh, without bluetooth if the bluetooth is on wifi is on without uh, accepting yourself i can hack your phone i think recently recently you have seen that there is there is a application called arokya sedu which is related to you know government is released they logged into the application they changed the uh, uh, you know the uh, you know location right location is handled by bluetooth so automatically the, you know location is changed from bangalore to dharavi automatically you know that uh, you know you are safe that the information can be manipulated right when you click that and uh, because why i am telling bluetooth and uh, uh, you know wifi should be off but you know you never know that bluetooth and uh, you know wifi is operating in the signal based okay without like bluetooth when you are pairing with another device so you need to have like all the uh, uh, like with with the permission of you know pairing so you target devices you need to you know pair yourself right so without uh, you know permission you can pair to the destination device okay you can you can see that what are the device around you right with the signals okay the target person cannot identify and another thing is when you are swiping the credit card right when you are swiping the credit card in you know any of the you know uh, place like a shop if it is taking more than 2 to 3 minutes right you need to be very vigilant the person may be you know skimmer the uh, skimmer device they will take what it will do is when you you know take the first it will take the credit card information and second they will try to uh, you know they will ask you to enter the pin number right it will record everything i think most of the tamil movies you have seen that right it is a reality okay they have pin hole cameras to capture your pin numbers and a similar based on that you know credit card and debit card number they will you know create a fake uh, uh, credit card and atm card number to withdraw the money okay and moreover another typical uh, example like when you are having when you are accepting the call from unknown number okay your family number is uh, uh, your family member is uh, you know met with accident this is a hospital 
you give the money you send the money right so that's another legitimate uh, you know call maybe you know like so what in that kind of situation right you never know that like you you don't have chance to think about think at all right you need to be very careful as i mentioned that like uh, you know the, this is called as a identity theft right when you are entering to the shopping mall they can have that you know wallet right wallet they can uh, they can take your credit card numbers and uh, you know it's one is you know physical theft and another one is logical uh, theft right and uh, moreover like uh, internet searches right google they can search your information so based on that they can they can send the social engineering uh, um, you know social engineering email phishing attack or uh, you know like a uh, uh, similar similar uh, phishing attack means that's a simple email message they send it to you and when you click that so automatically your credential all the information will be uh, you know taken out that that concept call as a key logging right they will intercept okay so like for example when you are uh, discovering like uh, uh, in the public uh, uh, shopping mall they will try to discover the uh, bluetooth the devices and as well as you know wifi devices right and uh, you know phishing attack as i mentioned that it is part of uh, uh, you know it will be in the you know sending you know, normal email skimming right skimming so they will attack your some devices they will inject when you are in office or any other person because in corporate world they ask you to lock your device okay you cannot always usb disable right how many of you disable usb right you cannot disable you know you never know that why you want you you will ask yourself why you want to disable uh, disable the wifi right or usb right so and the time whenever you need it you can enable it okay it doesn't matter the always on means Yeah, someone can try to in, uh, you know get the informations okay how many of you know charge when you are go to the airport or uh, uh, you know railway station right uh, i think indian railways they have charger right so uh, uh, okay so there will, there will be a cable okay this cable what it will is it looks like charger okay it looks like charger okay automatically usb chargers i think now in railways they are using as a usb chargers you think that it has a usb chargers when you connect your devices automatically it will send the information it is with uh, you know wifi is integrated automatically you never know that okay maybe uh, 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 you know like uh, um, whoever selling that Uh, like a snacks or uh, anything right maybe that person right so just uh, never ever buy the duplicate cable for your phone so right? it may be a wireless device it may be grab all the information from your phone and will send it to the somebody through wifi right so because you you never know that actually this this kind of uh, uh, you know like uh, 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 hacking will happen you you should not be a victim on always right so that's why you know i'm creating awareness don't take it as a wrong it is a, you know like uh, um, you know it's kind of you know uh, never use the smart phones or anything because we need to be very vigilant uh, when you are using smartphones right and uh, compromising the systems right when you are storing the information in google or anything always you know uh, be you know encrypt the data right don't store the plain text or plain images okay and uh, moreover they call it as a war driving right when you are uh, building any shopping mall not be a shopping mall or company or uh, where uh, you know i can start discovering what are the wifi uh, uh, available network right so that's called uh, that concept called as a war driving right and uh, even malwares they can inject the malwares by sending some text files you you can see as a you know normal word file you never know that that word file contain a virus okay and another thing is insider thread theft right maybe your friend 
okay they may be you know uh, uh, um, uh, ever long friend for you know five years seven years you never know that what will be their intention some you know uh, they can turn into the different you know bad characters right this could be the you know another uh, 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 you know the what are the identity theft okay so uh, you know how uh, your mobile devices right mobile devices it can be you know uh, you know vulnerable how you know as i as i mentioned that it can be go to the telco provider mobile devices any other application is asking uh, you to enable location accuracy or anything you keep read and uh, you know if it is not required then uh, you know uh, and then don't enable it okay so uh, until other until it is required don't enable it that's what you know my recommendations okay so that's uh, you know because why i'm saying that why i'm asking is i'm telling about it like uh, why uh, uh, you know we need we need to disable the you know mobile devices and the application itself can send uh, the information somewhere somewhere and someone can start uh, you know uh, stealing your information and selling into the different uh, um, purposes okay okay so far uh, we have seen that uh, uh, um, you know who has uh, you know like how i have been you know big team right what are the possible ways right so we are going to see that what is the, you know most of the guys you are using android right so take a take a look at it there will there is application called crypto shield right i think hope you are taking notes crypto shield right and uh, another one is bull god vpn b u l l bull bull god vpn okay and mcafe uh, mcafe security right okay and uh, uh, you know crypto shield a nord vpn right nord vpn always you use android is the most uh, you know vulnerable uh, uh, you know uh, mo mobile operating system in india because it's a, they targeted you know china is targeted india so i think most of the person is using mi phones and uh, you know china based mobiles right easily they can send the information to the their country okay and more of i think a lot of people you never know that like uh, you know korean based uh, applications they uh, uh, you know they start sending the information to you know south korea uh, and china right you always uh, uh, you know see like uh, you know uh, understand the uh, you know privacy statements when you try to install your uh, you know application in your phone okay this is this is called as a ids application intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system right you can go ahead and uh, you know uh, you can go ahead and enable it they will ask you to register in your email id okay so what it will do is so even if when you try to uh, uh, enable the you know bluetooth they always you know they try to monitor okay even hacker uh, uh, you know easily cannot uh, uh, run the you know discover your bluetooth devices it is called as a even hacker run the stealth mode right they will lose the patience right when you install the ids and ips uh, 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 related so they will uh, they, they cannot uh, you know uh, wait uh, you know until uh, you know get the information it will take some time but it doesn't mean that it's a completely you no know, protected right and when you are using one drive one dropbox on google drive you know make your information is secure okay the reason is they in india there are very very you know i think less than one percentage awareness only it's there okay it is our responsibility to create awareness okay and the moreover 
i installed you know application you know if you are using uh, 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 iphone uh, 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 frame, find friends right find friends is what it will do is you it will create small networks between your uh, you know family groups it will start you know identifying where you are going and everything right and when you are using iphone uh, and uh, you know in my family i'm using iphone my wife wife uses android phone we are using uh, application called life 360 okay this one where you are going and what what is your activities and everything will see that if so they will start identifying if uh, because when you are going from college to you know home yeah, if you are going different places so uh, it will you know alert the your family members that notification you can use it right it's a positive purpose right so like uh, you know safety purpose you can go ahead and use it okay even it's a, it's a, it's a must so always you know you can track it life 360 it is specifically for women you can start using it okay and another thing is like uh, um, other than the uh, vpn so you start uh, you know making sure that what are the application is required uninstall unnecessary applications okay and in the in the facebook never ever respond uh, uh, you know message uh, to the uh, you know unknown person right when they sent any messages because even if the if the person is not in your uh, you know friend list they can se still send a you know message right that would be the you know another uh, you know like uh, uh, another uh, um first another uh, you know like uh, for example way to uh, uh, way to gather the information about you okay so because it's a because you uh, you are heavily targeted in this you know uh, today's internet world your information is uh, uh, you know flooding uh, everywhere right so that's why you know like uh, you never know that who will be sniffing your uh, you know mobile traffic and uh, you know even home traffic so how many of you uh, in the you know using home internet right it is applicable in the home internet as well it's not only the mobile wherever you are using internet you need to be very very careful and especially when you are accessing the public internet right like for example in the shopping mall when you are go to the mcdonalds or starbucks or any other things like a metropolitan city especially for chennai if you go to that you need to be very very careful you never know that that uh, that shop Uh, is discovering your informations like uh, from the wifi network and even if i'm standing in the queue and i can i can start uh, discovering the you know what are the devices nearby me right if i want to use the uh, like a network like for example in there are certain limited bandwidth right i can i can launch a dos attack dynamic uh, 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 you know uh, denial of service attack so it will bring down the service right you can even i can i can mal i can inject the code so automatically you know whenever uh, uh, whenever try to open the document it will restart your devices or it will start sending the information right those kind of uh, you know anything you can do that if you are a target once i gather the information so it can be you know uh, uh, anything can be doable all right what are the other uh, uh, you know social uh, 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 things like in the home network uh, especially for when you are turning the wifi uh, uh, you know from here there are wifi if you are using wifi so it will be you know uh, uh, you need to uh, you need to maintain the minimum uh, protected uh, encryption mechanism so otherwise it will be you know very difficult anyone can uh, uh, you know hack the, hack my wifi and can steal the information from my laptop
right so this one if you see that if you see the security type you need to use that minimum wpa2 right personal if you see that i'm not sure how many of you using the wpa2 previously it was a wep wireless encryption protocol they can they can they can discover your mac address even in terms of phone or uh, you know personal computers what will be the ip address even my network is uh, hidden they can try to discover my network informations right if i'm i'm having some passwords what they will try to launch it once they discover the network they will try to launch the brute, brute force attack right they will they will give the combination of permission permutations they will launch the br brute force attack it it will be easily hackable what you need to you know how i can protect myself in the wifi as well similar thing you can start installing intrusion prevention system and intrusion detection system in the router you need to enable it right if you start enabling it so it is it is very difficult to discover your uh, you know uh, you know network right so and another thing is like mac based encryption okay i'm having i think hope everyone knows about it mac what is mac right so from here uh, this is a unique address uh, hardware address used for the communication internet wifi wireless communication right so similar kind of things only this device address can able to register with, register with my network okay so if if you don't enable mac based encryption anyone can come into the uh, uh, you know come come and join my network even if you be, if you enable uh, you know mac and if you don't enable mac and ids and ips they can there, there will be another software they can change the mac address they will try to come into your network if hacker intends to steal your house they will try to do that okay because they are the intelligent people they can come any form of any form of way okay and so in the mobile mobile attack so this is a anatomy uh, uh, you know how you know the the when you launch the browser in terms of apple or android or windows or any other uh, you know like uh, for example you ne you need to have minimum you need to have passcode right and the passcode should not be easily guessable right always you need to change it or i think most of the people you are using pattern based locking right that you need to start uh, you know uh, you know use it okay and never ever uh, reset the you know you know do the factory resetting of the mobile device i'm using iphone and uh, you know if you are using android and uh, don't try to jailbreak or can take the root devices if you take root of the device right so easily anyone can come and hack you and always you know like when when you are uh, taking root Uh, you know always you know os uh, will be you know data caching will be you know like uh, uh, you know captured like it's a data caching in the sense whatever running on your memory it can be you know launched through buffer overflow attack no need to you know discover your uh, application information so it it can be you know whatever running on memory that can they can uh, uh, you know grab it and launch the attack okay and making sure that you follow the encryption okay encryption uh, it is a must when you are storing your information to the public if you are storing your information in the you know plain text easily it will be hackable 
as i mentioned how it is easily hackable once your information is uh, you know get into the you know internet it will be easily searchable as i mentioned that only 4% index web it's uh, uh, you know coming into the uh, you know in the google is collecting but still your information is widely available in the internet it can be uh, you know search through google and the device you need to be you know if it is minimum uh, like uh, you know if you are not used for more than 2 minutes automatically it should be auto lock okay when you are uh, when when you are uh, uh, you know exploiting our uh, root uh, when you take the root device right so how uh, you know what are the uh, attack like uh, you know hacker can launch right so weaker encryption or anything encryption they can do that i think recently have you seen the news that you know one of the main uh, you know major company called the cts cognizant technology services they uh you know they attacked by ransomware right so what they try to do that like a hacker they uh, you know take control of the you know company laptop encrypted okay if you if they wanted to decrypt they need to pay the money still nobody knows it how they have uh, you know taken into the uh, you know like uh, how they overcome this situation but recently massive ransomware attack that's a uh, you know uh, uh, similar thing so they can start uh, steal your information in the mobile okay so and another thing is like once you know i i was telling about wifi when your wifi is uh, uh, hijacked you can they can take control of your wifi right but when i am connecting wifi and uh, you know launching or uh, something you know i am connecting to my company so how they can do the packet sniffing right packet sniffing means what i am doing right they can whether i am downloading the movie whether what uh, information i am accessing through web they can they can intercept okay so they can if they don't like it so uh, what they do is they will inject uh, you know lot of uh, you know uh, malicious code they can they can bring down my machine okay so that's uh, even like a day, uh, uh, you know how it it is affected in the corporate world like uh, um Uh, uh, corporate world like uh, you know in the mobile through mobile how they can take my you know my client informations see imagine the simple wifi itself how it is taking how we uh, how wifi is, is creating a lot of problems and i, I think mo, uh, nobody you know very few people uses the you know smart watch smart watch means they take they take all your health information send it to somebody right that information also you need to be very very you know careful while you are registering the informations i think hope you have taken notes about it like a uh, a uh, um, Uh, you know trick, uh, what are the ids devices and ips uh, devices okay there will be a, a, you know uh, if you wanted to use uh, you know two factor authentication uh, for your uh, uh, your email there is a google authenticator right google Auth authenticator is there for to have the two step verification for your email you can configure it in your mobile and especially for when you are using mobile 
you know be careful when your transaction through online okay and amazon right if you are not sure do the cash on delivery don't ever ever give the credit card information okay i'm uh, and how you know why i'm saying that so it's based on my experience i i'm working on the security field uh, uh, and uh, you know mixed of you know 70 percentage architect and 30 percentage is security so uh, unknowingly you know two years back you know like uh, for example uh, i i was using skype to mobile for uh, you know calling india mobiles so i i have subscription when i uh, clicked it someone has sent the information okay so i was busy you know uh, you know typing in the computer unknowingly i clicked it okay so normally i don't do that and you know how i i, I am part of victim right suddenly you know uh, uh, you know i got sms that you have been directed you have been charged 2000 dollar from my credit card then immediately i blocked my credit card i called the bank and called the microsoft and make sure that it is uh, you know ha- my account is hacked so how uh, you know this uh, cyber security teams and uh, handling one is breaking hacker is breaking things right and another one is uh, I, you know like a forensic they do the forensic right forensic analysis so how people are uh, you know if they do definitely you know like uh, they have myth right so they lose uh, some evidences right based on that they always do the uh, you know cyber forensic analysis that's what you know the cyber crime department is doing and finding out all the you know people right if one day you know uh, a transaction is coming from that you know particular place you know uh, you know constantly it is easy to do that if the person is moving around the world like uh, for example moving uh, you know multiple uh, world, multiple places like uh, uh, you know changing the dns it will be problem right still but you know can be captureable through forensic analysis they can and pattern analysis analysis they can start uh, you know analyzing and that that's what you know the cyber crime department and uh, you know doing it and what is our responsibilities that we need to be very vigilant and uh, start uh, you know telling about you know creating awareness simply if jio is giving you know free 1 gb uh, you know internet you need to be very very careful that means that your data is going somewhere all right so uh, i think hope we have seen that what is uh, you know uh, uh, you know social engineering and the information gathering what are the web type and uh, how mobile attacks uh, it is launched by the hacker in the public network how we can protect ourselves in the uh, you know in the internet in the mobile so uh, you know that, that's what you know we have seen that so hope uh, you have uh, you know seen that you know got valuable information you know how to protect yourself and uh, i'm i'm leaving to you and thanks for the you know biggest opportunity for this uh, you know conducting this workshop and uh, sharing my knowledge and experience so i'm leaving to you for the you know open ended questions for next 15 minutes you can always uh, contact me in linkedin and uh, facebook uh, if you need uh, further information actually sister uh, do you have uh, uh, i i leave it uh, uh, thank you sir session is highly informative and practically explained the real time example you have given the worth listening thank you sir
Dear participants, it's a time for your queries. Now I invite Sister Joshita to handle the question session. Sister, please. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Raja. Thanks, thanks, Sister. For this valuable session, here is what listening. Few. They are asking: Is there any option to switch off camera when camera when use? So the the uh, you know we we don't have any option to switch off the camera. The only vigilant way is to that. If you are receiving any uh, information from unknown contacts, you should not accept it in in form of uh, email or uh, in form of messages, WhatsApp messages and video messages. And never uh, you never know that that video is contains viruses. Sister. Okay, thank you. Another question from another prof professor. Please tell the full name of app you said three sixty. Life uh, three sixty. So um, maybe I'll I'll put it live. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So life three sixty. This is especially for tracking, uh, you know, kids. And uh, moreover, now uh, uh, you know another technology is coming. Uh, if uh, kids are uh, going. Like uh, you know, independently going to the school, right? So we are having we insert a GPS in the you know school bag, right? Normally it it has been trapped, right? But it it is uh, it it, uh, it is useful in you know highly you know in Singapore developed countries, but in India it will be you know very difficult. But we we can use it life 360 way. Why I'm saying difficult in the sense, uh, um, like uh, in it's. Uh, the development of you know internet it is not that mature in in india actually rural especially rural area if it is there then definitely it, it will be more helpful actually yeah another question is tell little about gpay uh, google pay yes sir yeah, uh, so Google Pay, it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, vault. Uh, uh, so uh, when, when you are using, uh, um, you know, public network, uh, you need to be very careful. So that's what, you know, like uh, NFC payment or any other, you know, Google Pay while you are, while you are using uh, other than the mobile network, you need to be very careful. Okay. How to protect mobile information? Is there any app for protecting devices? Uh, there are parental guide application is there. The problem is there. So when you are when you install that application, it can be uh, uh, discover all the information actually. So uh, in the sense, uh, your call history has been tracked, and uh, everything it can be you know uh, uh, taken out actually. So that. That uh, application is there. So, um, I think Lookout. It's uh, you know, uh, Lookout is the is application actually. Yes, sir. How to find out our phone is hacked or not? You are, uh, um, even you, you are. If if any any of your system is hacked or uh, you know phone is hacked, it will be you know very slow, right? Always you know uh, like uh, for example when you are launching any application, you can see the suspicious uh, activity is happening, right? And uh, it, it, when the when the activities is uh, uh, you know raised, so automatically the phone will be heat or uh, you know uh, its uh, battery will be draining. Or uh, you know some other you know unusual activity you can you can see that actually in the phone, right? Definitely you know like uh, you you will see that you will you can suspect if any hacking is hap hap happened. So uh, immediately you know turn off internet and uh, you can start uh, you know reinstalling your devices and everything. Another professor is asking, 
sometimes yeah, our gmail gives a message that your account was open somewhere else then does it mean it is hacked yeah so so for example that uh, that means that they are validating yourself uh, you are logging uh, uh, into your uh, you know from the valid device because it's uh, they are identifying device based recognition right right now i am having uh, three devices like uh, um, one is uh, my mobile phone another one is my office laptop so my personal laptop my personal laptop i i do log in less uh, you know frequently so uh, uh, when i log in into personal laptop I, i get message from gmail that uh, you know security alert so what you need to do is so if you are not able to log in then you know uh, you need to report back right like if you are not logged into the particular device if it is not from that like uh, they will specifically you know capture the ip address which ip address you are trying to log in and they will uh, 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 you know then you can so you can select that you are, if you are not then you can report back to them even when i come to india it is from uh, you know my email address is uh, um, email address is uh, you know uh, registered in singapore when i open in india you are uh, you know your op- your mail address is accessed from india right so that's uh, uh, um, thing it's happened another question is if i get some type of fraud call then what should i do should be done in this case you know once you identify never that's what you know uh, never ever accept a uh, call uh, from unknown contact right if even if you are from uh, um, definitely it's india at least to leave two times they will try to uh, you know call you uh, you know again definitely you know uh, hacker if you are not responding first time they will not you know uh, uh, call back in most cases can the cyber security risk be minimized by using vpn uh yes a vpn is uh, uh, vpn is to minimize uh, uh, you know and uh, minimize the identity and yes it, the vpn is uh, come up with the ids intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system yes so you need to you need to do the research that vpn is providing intrusion uh, uh, prevention system detection system facility my mail and phone is completely hacked by one person how can i find that my mail is hacked so de- de- definitely you will get the alert in the mobile as well as uh, uh, you know email so uh, what uh, you need to see that like uh, uh, you know immediately you need to change the password okay you can see the you know like uh, um, you know when the e- when the email or phone is hacked you can see the suspicious activity in the email as well as well as you know phone your device will be you know slow performance or uh, your email is used by some other person so uh, that that uh, can be you know uh, uh, easily identifiable normally like uh, in the in the fish, phishing attack because without uh, knowing yourself no one is a hack right so uh, unknowingly so you you need to reflect back whether you you click uh, any phishing attack especially who are using gmail there are a lot of you know spam emails you know will be coming you should not uh, ever ever click that actually that email if some soccer ask gmail address when we are going to download that is that any risk of getting our email id from them uh, sorry sister come again when we are going for downloading any software it is asking for our gmail address so um risk of get, giving our email id over there yes correct you always need to check the authenticity okay some some website and i think some website uh, uh, for what it will do is first uh, when you try to download any of the softwares first it will download minimum minimal exe and uh, you know install it in your computer without uh, knowing yourself 
okay you need to be vigilant so you you should not straight away you know uh, you know click it yes okay that's what you know i insisted that you always you know read when you are clicking yes or no okay so that uh, awareness should be there vigil you need to be vigilant okay in most of the cases now uh, in the uh, website they are giving you know uh, uh, you know two softwares actually when you try to download actual software before uh, downloading actual software another uh, small injectable files will be downloaded you never know that you need to be vigilant and uh, you know before downloading it you need to search it actually like uh, search in the sense read it how to protect our data being used without our permission at times 30% of data lost in the morning then we leave without switching off data in the night mobile data uh, without uh, uh, switching data uh, sister uh, i'm i'm quite so not getting we are leaving our mobile data uh, without switch off it is last in the night now yeah yeah they are asking that so yeah the, the when you are not using any mobile data you always switch, switch it off right so um, uh, so you never know that and you need to make sure that a lot of application uh, you you can see that whether uh, it can use the mobile data or wifi you need to click it okay so if you don't uh, uh, if you don't use it so just straight away switch off the mobile data and if you don't want to specifically for that application go to the settings and privacy and don't use the mobile data and uh, you know wifi when I mean, it is idle right that option available uh, option is there i think that's all okay thank you thank you sister i think hope i answered uh, all the questions i think we are on time yeah now professor convener you can take over the session yes sister thank you sir for answering all queries dear participants the link for the feedback is sent in the chat box please revert it is receiving your e certificate Now we are at the end of the webinar. I invite our organizing secretary, Mrs. B. Fatima Joseph Prasanna, to propose the vote of thanks.
gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. Good evening, all. As all good things come to an end in life, so is this webinar. On behalf of Jaira Janabakim College for Women, I take this opportunity to propose a vote of thanks to those who have directly and directly contributed to this webinar. <coughs> To begin with, I thank God for heaven for blessing us more than we deserve. Thank you, Lord, for your abundant blessings on this event. I thank our resource person, Mr. Raja Silvaraj, for sharing of his knowledge and valuable suggestions to keep ourselves safe in this digital world. I would like to express our profound gratitude to our principal, Reverend Sister Dr. S. J. Surani, for providing support for this event. It's my privilege to say thanks to our secretary, Reverend Sister Dr. B.J. Queensley Jayanti for her blessings and wishes for this webinar. Do the right work at right time. I'm happy to thank our HOD, Reverend Sister Dr. R. Shantamiri Joshita and convener, Mrs. B. Jasmine for arranging this webinar, which is the need of an hour today. As no program can become successful with a single person, so I extend my big thanks to our computer science department for the support and contribution of all our faculties. Last but not least, I express my deepest gratitude to all the participants who made this event as a resu resounding success by their participation. Once again, I thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, dear participants. See you in another digital platform. Happy learning. Thank you once again. Thank you, sister. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, sir.